Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Galaxy. So today we are going to discuss a special type of integration which is called the Riemann Stringer integration. So we already know that bit of what is Riemann integration. Riemann integration is a very direct thing. So just uh, discuss what is Riemann, Riemann integration. So let's see that this is the coordinate system basically. This is the y axis and this is general x axis. So this is x, this is y. And any curve, let's say the curve is y equals to fx. So that will be denoted by this kind of function. Okay, not need, I mean, need not to be monotonic function or continuous function, it may be any kind of function. But just for in generalization, we take this. So what, what Riemann integration basically does, so let's say that we have to calculate for certain values of x, or let's say some uh, certain intervals of x, let's say from, uh, we are calculating from 0 to 1, okay. So basically, this is the function, so we are calculating this, fx dx, okay. So if we do that, so here dx is here and fx is basically here, okay. So th this is why we write dx and here this fx. So we are integrating fx by basically this x, alright. So what we what we do normally if, if uh, we do Riemann integration, so we do or uh, we take some partition from here, okay. We take this kind of small partition, got it. Let's say this partition is called a p partition. Then we consider some uh, rectangles. So rectangles just look like this. So this is the final functional value and take this rectangle. At this point, the rectangle looks like this. At this point, you can see that the rectangle looks like this. At this point, this and so on. And uh, after this, you can certainly do this. And the, that kind of rectangle uh, gonna be formed like this. Let's draw something. And that kind of thing so then what we do uh, we basically add these things okay we basically add these things or add these things and for for generalization what we do we take uh, let's say some uh, values uh, it is sometimes called the minimum and the maximum and then we take basically uh, sometimes the differences from two sides and they're going to be accumulated at one point or for in generalization sometimes we take some arbitrary arbitrary value from these sub intervals uh, then we basically calculate the distance and according to that distance uh, what we calculate we basically calculate uh, the basically the rectangle formula and that's what it is so this kind of uh, sub interval they are sometimes basically called uh, delta i okay so what you do we basically multiply this delta i into uh, let's say that some uh, general general generalized value on that function is x i and we take this function value, okay and we take this partition from 1 to n, okay, we take this kind of partition from 1 to n and then we call this sometimes the SPF of this function and then what we do, we basically run this n towards infinity and if this sum basically tends to some particular thing, uh, let's say some a, then we call a is basically the Riemann integration of the function, okay. The problem here is that when we were calculating this, these kind of things are basically called errors, okay, this kind of extra term, it is sometimes called the excess term they basically errors okay so this kind of formation is basically called Riemann formation so in this uh, in this situation or basically in this type of uh, uh, drama we can also uh, define what is Riemann steel J integration so let us just define Riemann steel J integration in this same formation so for Riemann steel J integration so what we do here Riemann we basically do this x and y and the function is basically x. So you see that in Riemann integration, the problem is very straightforward and it is kind of a, like, uh, it is called sometimes a flat thing, okay, means you are doing everything in a flat way, okay. So for x, so x basically you can see this is basically a straight line, okay. So we are calculating this kind of, uh, this kind of rectangles. Now what if we basically bend this x, let's say we bend this x like this. Got it. We bend this x like this by some other functions, which will be called like uh, gx, and there is fx as usual. And then what we do, we basically calculate those rectangles on the basis of g, gx on this this side. So that's the main thing. That here we basically change x to gx. Got it. So if we have to integrate fx with respect to uh, gx gx then what we write basically b of gx 
So that is the most important thing. And let's say we are calculating this a to b. And in short, we basically write f d g a to b. So that's what it is. Okay. We are basically calculating uh, the integration inside this a b closed integral. So this f and g have to have some uh, let's say some 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 special properties. Basically g. So in general, g is basically b v. Okay. In general, if you take g to be a BV function, means function of bounded variation function, then it is basically done. And g generally matches from a to b closed interval to r. So g is basically a real to real function from a closed interval to a real. And f can be any function, but uh, can be any function. It doesn't matter. So that's the that's the most important thing. <coughs> so now here you take the exact same thing. You take a partition and you calculate something which is called is T F G. So S P F G is summation of uh, kind of like this that f of x i into here should be like that uh, g of x i minus g of x i minus one. Okay, so that kind of thing. And you guys you can tend to like uh, run i to one to infinity. Got it? So that's the important thing basically. So this is basically the first sub interval for i equals to one. Then for second it will be like g two minus g one and so on up to n. So the last will be like g n minus g n minus one. Here g is b v, but uh, like say you can take b v. If you take b v, then you have to use this kind of mod symbol. And if you take like say g is to be monotonic function, and you know that a monotonic function is always b v on closed interval. So for monotonic function you don't have to use this mod. You can just use the normal normal thing. All right. And for this is p f g. This is a very important thing. It is sometimes called the. Uh, I forget this. So if this tends to some particular value a, particular value a, okay, this would be in. If this tends to particular value a, for every basically for every partition p, okay, for every partition p, then you say that this basically equals to this. Means this basically converges to some uh, particular. Yeah, and that is basically the integral of uh, the function g with respect to the function g uh, of function f with respect to the function g. That is basically called the Riemann-Stieltje integration. So Riemann-Stieltje integration is basically uh, called the final version of Riemann, Riemann integration, and sometimes it is called that it is the generalized version of Riemann integration. Basically, if you take uh, let's say g to be x, then it is nothing but the Riemann integration. Okay. And of course, there are some lots of lots of theory here, and it is very much uh, useful to some uh, distribution functions in statistics, yeah, in probability theory, especially in statistics, and in measure theory, of course. In measure, it has huge application, huge application, like uh, Rayo-Nikodym uh, derivative. And if you try to define some uh, measure uh, with respect to some measure, basically this DG forms kind of like measure, and with respect to this measure, you can define also a measure like this. And also, you can define some other functions like uh, a to x, uh, f y, uh, f b g. Okay, and that will be like a very measure, good measurable function, that kind of thing. Okay, so that's the thing. And thanks everyone for watching.